guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm gonna bust the top five bits about google summer of good that people constantly ask me and come a bar bana karna ki bhai aisa nahi hai aisa nahi hai dekho ja ke padho kya hai so in this video i'll be busting the top five bits about google summer of good let's get started So the first thing is that you need to be from a top college, NIT, IIT, or which in order to get into Google Summer of Code. Now this can't be the farthest from the truth. College does not matter. I have said this many times before, and this is true for anything in life, not just Google Summer of Code. Being from a good college gives you a head start. It gives you a network of people who have probably done that thing. It gives you a set of exposure. And it gives you probably a good college in which professors are good, so they will teach you more and more. But If you are upskilling yourself, if you are networking with like-minded individuals, and if you are contributing to different organizations and being active in open source organizations, you would get into Google Summer of Code. So, our the GSOC group is there are people, which I am myself very inspired by, who are not from such big colleges, but those guys have made insane contributions in some in some of the best organizations, including uh, Firefox and like Django and a lot of these organizations, and. they have done this by upskilling themselves and not being affected by the fact that they are not from a good college or they are missing out on things jitne bhi log hain jo acche college se nahi hai jinke mujhe messages aate hain bahut saare log isi feeling ke sath 4 saal bata dete hain ki yaar main acche college mein nahi hu mera ab kuch ho nahi payega aage jaake which is so not true you guys have insane potential and yaar koi bhi kabhi bhi fod sakta hai yaar you never know so just forget the past and think about ki tum abhi kya kar sakte ho in order to increase your chances for anything in life including gsoc the second which is you need to have a lot of contributions in order to get selected now that is kind of true contributions are important but it's not the quantity which is important it's the quality which is important agar tumne 10 contribution kare hain but wo sab readme file change kar rahe hain and ek bande ne ek feature implement kiya which is just one contribution but that feature is being used by multiple people then obviously that contribution is much more than the 10 contributions of uh, spelling mistakes corrections that you have made in the readme file So obviously those contributions would be valued more when the organization would look from their perspective, and it makes sense also, right? So obviously contributions matter to some extent. Initially, quantity matters because that just gives you confidence. Okay, okay, I can contribute in this organization. But after a point, the quality matters much more than the quantity itself. So for those who have uh, reached to this point and are still watching this video, thank you so much, Jay. I hope th- I hope this video is helping you. Uh, like this video if you like this video. and subscribe to my channel here it's free for you but it really really helps me a lot uh, and also i create content about college life uh, coding skill building productivity and thoda about finance matlab ko main daali koshish kar raha hu channel mein because and i in general tend to share my experiences and tell you stories so that it helps you and you are able to relate to it so yeah subscribe for more such content and uh, yeah continue the video thanks for watching again Yeah. So third myth is that you need to be an expert developer if you want to get into GSOC or Outreach or any other program. The organizations expect you to have some certain skills and you need to be proficient at them. But at the same time, a lot of organizations realize that you are a newbie. For that matter, GSOC ke official website pe likha hai ki you need to either be new to open source or you need to be a student in order to participate in GSOC. So GSOC also expects you to be a newbie, and uh, even though you need to have some technical aspects and some technical skills because it's obviously a coding program largely uh, along with contributing other things but it's a coding program largely so you need to have some technical expertise but at the same time you can contribute to organizations which kind of are beginner friendly and they are willing newbies to come and uh, contribute their mentors are much more approachable their mentors are very very friendly uh, and if you are not at all interested in coding there's another program called google summer of docs which is all about uh, improving the documentation and uh, all these things Which are not related to coding per se, so yeah, uh, that also can be done. But yeah, it's not for some expert level things. It's just for students who have a knack for coding or who are fast learners and they can pick things up very fast and they can start contributing uh, immediately. A good hack would be uh, to start contributing early because at that time the mentors are free and they can guide you well and you also have enough time to learn and pick on things at the same time contribute to the organization. So. Starting early always helps. Yeah, the fourth and the most common with this, shit, yeah, जी सब करने के बाद तो तुझे Google में referral मिल गया होगा, तो तू Googleer बन गया भाई. जी <laughs> सब was very very lucrative four five years back. This is a fun fact. My mentor told me that 
they got the stipend of five thousand dollars even before the project started. They used to get it when they were selected. I'm not sure क्यों कितना सच है यार मुझे मेरा मजाक उड़ा था but it was very very lucrative. Everyone who got into Tishwa got a Google referral that was I think valid for six years or something and you could have you could apply it for three different positions in any Google office in this world. So that was crazy. It was very very lucrative. But अभी क्या सीन है दो प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं फिफ्टी हंड्रेड डॉलर्स एंड थ्री थाउजेंड डॉलर्स इस डी स्टाइपेंड एंड यू डोंट गेट अ गूगल रेफरल now you may get a google referral if you if let's say you work in an organization which is kind of associated uh, with google in some way and you are connected to google engineers and uh, things like that and if they like your work you can ask them for a referral and they would give you so us tarike se mil sakta hai but gsoc does not guarantee a google referral right now in the future they might start it again i think karna chahiye it's, it's a good thing to have man come on The last and the biggest myth about Google summer of code is कि अब तो तुमने जी सॉफ्ट कर लिया है, so now अब तो अंधा पैसा, now you will get into any company that you want and your life is set. This is something which even I thought I was like, हाँ भाई, I have जी सॉफ्ट इन माइंड इसलिए अब मुझे कोई कंपनी रिजेक्ट कर ही नहीं सकती. So the uh, uh, good thing is that when you write जी सॉफ्ट, you essentially have Google in your resume. I think that's kind of a big deal. Okay, <laughs> but that's not very true. Uh, companies, the big companies especially, they still would choose a person who is better at DSA. then let's say who has contributed to open source and okay that widely depends on the project requirements also but mostly campus placements ki baat kar raha hu jitna maine experience kiya mere experience hai uh, companies would prefer someone who is better at dsa than someone who is a gsocer or let's say who has a lot of extra curricular activities also so they would want someone who does dsa better so uh, dsa is important uh, but at the same time if you're looking for some opportunities in the startup world GSOC helps you to create a very good credibility because it's a standardized thing and uh, you wouldn't get your certificate till you complete the project that you wanted to do so it's something which makes you more credible and at the same time or let's say if you are working on building some systems and more of the development part that is something which startup uh, people need more because they are right now in the stage when they want to develop things uh, i feel mncs mein it's more of optimizing the current uh scenario so the current products and obviously development hota hai but uh, they don't expect uh the joiny to start developing and start building products for them uh but startup mein since they are lesser employees even the interns and the things like so maybe startup mein kaam kar i'm i'm responsible for developing and integrating a lot of clients so just maybe startup mein kaam kar raha hu uh i am expected to develop things for them right now and ds is all mera abhi use ho nahi raha So, uh, but so that's the scene. If you start up, go direct. Okay, then I think GSOC kind of helps, but not if you want to target the big MNCs. But at the same time, having Google in your resume, I think that creates an impact. At least, at least that's eye catching. So yeah, uh, these are the top five myths. So guys, thanks for watching this video. You can check out my GSOC documentation, which I've documented the six months of my Google Summer of Code journey here. And yeah, subscribe to my channel for more such amazing content. Thanks for watching. Bye.